Oftentimes, Grey Jedi is a term that is used to describe an individual who has found balance between the light and dark side of the Force, but what are the greater details of these individuals and what do they represent as a whole? To understand the Grey Jedi and those in the middle, we must first familiarize ourselves with the extremes of both sides of the Force, the light and dark, but more specifically the Jedi and the Sith. The Sith are an order of Force users who value power over all else. In an effort to gain power, they turn to the quick and easy route the dark side of the Force. Through the dark side, they gain knowledge and strength over certain abilities. While the Sith are not barred from exercising the light, they often find themselves conflicting with it, as it represents things that the Order of the Sith does not. For example, the light promotes peace in all things, but the constant need for power that the Sith have formed acts against this, as the Sith are constantly seeking more. Because of this, the Sith have taught their students to fully conform to the darkness, as that is where they believe their power lies. Jedi, on the other hand, view the dark side as completely destructive, and those under it as slaves to its bidding. The Jedi believe that even briefly entertaining the darkness is a huge danger, as its power is highly addicting and destructive. To keep from being fully consumed by the darkness, the Jedi refrain from using the dark side by all means necessary. The Grey Jedi fall in the middle of these two beliefs. Grey Jedi exercise control far from that even of a Jedi. The Sith are all about losing control, and amassing as much power as possible, while the Jedi preach nothing but absolute control. The Grey Jedi partially embrace what the Jedi fear beyond measure. The Jedi Order views the dark side as all-encompassing and destructive, to the point where they ban all use of it, fearful that the destructive nature is capable of fully consuming even the most wise and powerful Jedi Masters. The Grey Jedi, however, attempt to prove this belief incorrect. Grey Jedi use the dark side while not letting it control them. They believe that when exercising enough control, they can use abilities Jedi cannot. Grey Jedi are free to explore the teachings of the Light as much as possible, as those beliefs do not consume, but while doing so they also explore the teachings of the Dark Side, and are always careful not to indulge too much. This is in fear of it bringing them down a path they cannot return from. Most of the time, Grey Jedi share far more in common with the Jedi Order than the Sith, following the ways of the Light, but dabbling in other aspects the Jedi would deem dangerous. In the days of the Old Republic, the Jedi Council saw the Order being divided and torn apart by certain beliefs or attachments outside of the Jedi Order itself. The Council saw the Jedi expanding to a point beyond their control, in some cases learning of students who had never even visited the Jedi Academy. The Council saw students rise and fall under one master, with no unity or loyalty to any greater order. Because of this, the Council opted to construct a new Jedi Code that would once again fully unite the Order. A part of constructing this new code was emphasizing the Jedi not form attachments. Naturally, many other Jedi disagreed with this interpretation and began questioning the Council's right to change the code. These Jedi valued their attachments and were unwilling to conform to the new way. These Jedi also questioned the Council's choice to borrow all dark side teachings, as some of the Jedi viewed them as valuable and potentially very important. Because of their different views, the Jedi Council deemed these members as Grey Jedi and those who practiced the old ways. These Grey Jedi continued to exercise their beliefs, dabbling in the less extreme dark side abilities and even having families of their own. However, the Order did not accept their choice not to adhere to the new code and were thus thrown from the Order. Many Grey Jedi, in fact, have never practiced the dark side in any capacity, but are still considered Grey Jedi. This is because this term was established to sometimes describe those who practiced the Force and the Light, but were not Jedi. In some cases, Grey Jedi were allowed to remain a part of the Jedi Order, as despite their desire not to conform to the code, their power was such that the Jedi allowed it, although it was never truly condoned. This quote concerning Grey Jedi explains it. The so-called Grey Jedi have been with us since the beginning. Although they do not break the Jedi orthodox concerning the dark side, they bristle when asked to take orders from the Council. Grey Jedi make compromises, cut corners, and hide their actions from scrutiny, all under the assumption that their experience makes them authorities on policy. They are mavericks who are difficult to control, but can be valued members of the Order after they have been persuaded to follow the established hierarchy. By some within the Order, Qui-Gon Jinn was considered a Grey Jedi, as he, on multiple occasions, outright defied the Jedi Council, and was not unwilling to dishonestly manipulate things to make them go his way. Similar to the term Dark Jedi, Grey Jedi is a term to describe a view on the Force, or way of life, not an Order itself. Grey Jedi most often refers to one who is primarily or sometimes fully a light side practitioner, but is not a Jedi. Similarly to the way Dark Jedi describes someone who is a user of the dark side and fully embraces it, but is not a Sith. 
However, there were orders who were considered to be Grey Jedi. The Imperial Knights were those who above all else served the Force and their Emperor. This organization used the Force and stayed fully away from the dark side. These Force users used the Force as their guide, abiding by it and the feelings they received, not conforming to an order but the Force itself. Even if the Imperial Knight's own Emperor fell to the dark side, it was their duty to return him to the light and pure state of the Force, or destroy him. The Genserai is another organization like this. However, they fully condoned the study of the dark side as well as the light. The Genserai originated when during the Clone Wars, a Jedi Knight delved into forbidden texts. In these texts, it was explained that Jedi selfishly adopted the teachings of the early Sith and then exiled them. This enraged the Jedi Knight, as they viewed all they had learned as a lie and betrayal by the Jedi. This, however, was untrue, and a deep-seated lie planted by the Sith, to in hopes one day separate the Jedi from within. This Jedi Knight, believing these lies as truth, left the Order and formed a new group known as the Genserai, an order that despised both the Jedi and Sith, and practiced the light and the dark. This former Jedi, named Tyrus, believed his order was following the teachings of the true Jedi, when in reality, he was unknowingly bestowing his students with the studies of the Sith and Dark Side. Because of this, the Jedi Order were forced to eradicate the Genserai, seemingly succeeding and deeming them Grey Jedi, those who believed in the pursuit of the light but were unknowingly exploring the darkness. Unfortunately, in canon, the term Grey Jedi no longer exists, with it being replaced with specific orders that believe in balance between light and dark. If the term were canon, the Rebel's depiction of Ahsoka Tano would be the perfect example of a Grey Jedi, an individual who is very much a light side user but does not conform to the Jedi code and way of life. So tell me what you think. How do you feel about the Grey Jedi and their views and beliefs concerning the Force? And now after learning more about them, would you want to be a Grey Jedi or something else entirely? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related. If you have any lore topics or questions you want answered, do not hesitate to tweet them at me at StupendousWave on Twitter or leave a comment and I will try my best to answer or make a full video dedicated to that topic. If you enjoyed, please leave a like as it helps the channel out a great deal and I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. May the Force be with you and have a great day.